Hello everybody, so in this video we will be looking at the prefix and suffix from array. So first of all, let us look at the prefix from array. What is a prefix from array? So it states that if we are given an array A of size n, then its prefix from array will be another array of the same size n such that the ith element of the prefix sum array is the sum of all the elements of the given array till the index from the beginning. So in simple words we can just say that suppose we have an array A with elements 3, 4, minus 1, 2, 5. So its prefix array, prefix sum array will be 3, then next element will be sum of these two elements then next element will be sum of first three elements that will be six then next will be sum of these elements that will be eight and then the last will be sum of all the elements of the array that will make it 13 so this will be our prefix sum array and similarly for suffix sum array it will be in opposite way so first time we were starting from the start now we will start from the last so it will be sum of all these elements the first element of suffix array will be sum of all these elements of the array a then the next will be 13 minus 3 that will give us 10 the next will be 10 minus 4 that will give us 6 and then 7 and then 5 or we can also start from the last from the 5 and we can traverse in opposite way so we can start from 5 then 5 plus 2 will give us 7 we can start from 5 then 5 and 2 will give us 7 then 7 minus 1 will give us 6 then 6 plus 4 will give us 10 and then 10 plus 3 will give us 13 so this is the prefix and suffix sum array now let us just look at the applications where these can be used in problem solving so first of all we can use them in the question where we have to answer range sums or XOR queries another is where we have to find the product of elements in a given range it is also useful for finding maximum sum sub array so now let us just code this prefix and suffix sum in C++ so suppose we have a array of integer ARR of size n uh, let us just take a variable int n and we will ask the user to enter the size and after that we will ask the user to enter the elements of the array and the elements of the array now we will just look through c in arr of i now we require two arrays one for prefix and one for suffix so we will take ps as for prefix for prefix array and s as for suffix now what we will do first of all let us just consider at prefix some array first of all so as we can see here 
as we can see the first element of our main array and our prefix sum array is same so what we will do we will give the value p s of 0 equal to a r r of 0 and then we will loop through from the index 1 up to n up to n minus 1 and we will give p s of i so what we have to do what we will be doing here is we will be doing uh, i is 1 so p s of 1 is here this p s of 1 0 1 2 3 4 so p s of 1 is p s of 0 plus a of 1 so in general we can write it as p s of i minus 1 plus a of i this is what we will be doing inside our for loop so now let us just write this is equal to a r r of i plus p s of i minus 1 that's it now then uh, we will display this later on now for our uh, suffix array as we can see for suffix the last element is same for a and ss so ss of n minus 1 will be equal to a r r of n minus 1 and then i will just loop through n minus 2 i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus and what we are doing for the suffix sum array is suppose like i am starting from the last so here is my i at the moment so this so s s of i is equal to s s of i plus 1 which is this term value plus this so that will be a of i so this is the general idea here so s s of i will be equal to s s of i plus 1 plus a r r of i now let us just display both of these so for int of i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus uh, see out first of all we will display our main array so first of all we will display the main array and after that we will give so now i will put the value as 5 the size as 5 and the elements as 3 4 minus 1 2 and 5 so as you can see my prefix sum array is 3 7 6 8 13 so my prefix sum array is 3 7 6 8 13 which is correct and the suffix is 13 10 6 7 5 which is also correct so this is the concept of prefix sum and suffix sum array i hope you like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching the video